car to work day and it is blazing hot. I'm here, I just showed up at the warehouse and we got a special delivery. Boy, oh, yeah. Let's go check this thing out. Well, I thought it'd be a good idea to drive the race car because I never drive it. I literally only drift it, so that was a terrible idea. I have no AC at the moment. That was so brutal. 93 degrees in traffic, never again. <laughs> On the bright side, we do have this clean R34 GTT that we scored for a customer. Nico just dropped it off here at the warehouse. I have to throw this thing indoors. I don't really like it sitting out here, but pretty clean. Wow. But yeah, I'm going to the auction. I got to bid on a couple more cars, but let's go ahead and get this thing in the garage and we'll talk more. There you go, boys. As you can see, the storage is filling up really fast, but that's only because I'm not parking the cars very close. And I keep the hoods open on all the cars and unplug the batteries while I'm storing them. I just don't want any critters, even though there's probably no critters in here. I don't need them like nesting in here. So just a safety precaution because I know how critters can be living at the land. But everything is safe and sound. I don't know how many more cars I can fit in here, probably Another one, if I scoot these all together, I can put one right here. And I'm hoping I can do one, two, three. So, yeah, like I said before, guys, you gotta hit me up quick because I knew this was gonna happen. We're already looking for another place to store all the cars. So hopefully soon I'll have another warehouse and you guys can still hit me up to find a car for you. So Baron's Garage, you guys can go ahead and DM me on that page, but I'm gonna head over to the auction right now and go find more cars for more customers. So that's kind of like my full-time job right now. I've been so busy. YouTube has been very hard to keep up with lately. I'm like three weeks behind on footage. So I don't know, by the time you guys see this, this place will probably be full, cool. but it is hot out. <sighs> I gotta get going. I'm probably gonna play musical cars a little bit before I leave, scoot these things together. All right, so I had a little time actually. Move the car super close together. I can fit another one right here for sure. I can probably fit three this way. And look how much room it gave me by moving all the cars closer together. I can fit another car right here. We got four spots left. Hit me up ASAP, boys. We'll see you soon. So I'm in Up Garage right now and I came across something that I'm gonna be needing because yesterday I said I was going to auctions. You can already tell what I scored. Got me another 180SX. We're gonna shoot over to the warehouse today, throw this thing in. We'll get more into that later, but what are the chances I go to my local Up Garage and they have a driver's seat? Stay tuned, I got three cars yesterday at auction. It was a good day. Thank you, Jeff, for always taking care of me. You guys will see those things really soon. All right, we're pulling up, and this is Leah's first time ever coming to the auction, so. Crazy. Interesting? Yes, very interesting. And we got Pops over here, pulling up with the new whip. Oh yeah, that thing's sick. We got a couple new cars too. Your 180 is super oh, sick. Oh yeah, 180 and yeah. another 34. All right, let's get out. It is raining today, so that kind of sucks, but let's check them out. This is the newest inventory. This thing's gonna go really quick. This thing is minty and it only has like 50,000 original miles. It's good. So tempted to keep it, but gotta sell it. 180, this 34 is already sold. We're gonna bring these over to the warehouse right now though. It's raining. We're gonna get out of here. You want that 34? Very, um, very not enticing. Absolutely. Very enticing. No. Tempting. Tempting, yes, <laughs> tempting. Very tempting. It's nice. All right, let's go. Working fast, Pops. We're here, starting to unload. Get these things in, it's raining. I like your overalls. Like them? Yeah. I actually got these for Leah and they were the wrong size, so <laughs> your boy got some new overalls. <laughs> Yesterday I told you guys that the garage is gonna fill up really fast. What do you know, the next day it is completely full. I could probably fit another K-Van maybe like right here, but that's it. That is 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. Just how I imagined. We've only had this place for maybe a month now. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Look at that. You guys are great. And everyone wants an R34. So if you want an R34, let me know. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> no, but these are all sold except this one. Oh, the sickest one? The sickest one is not oh, sold yet. Oh, I shouldn't yet. say that. I have this. <laughs> they're all sick. Yeah, they're all but sick. Yeah, this thing is done. This is like what Ready. you want. Yeah. And I'm surprised that you don't want it. What, babe? Where you don't want it? Camera on you. No, I'll it's done. It. It's, it's, it's sick. It's already done. Well, just sell your broken one. <laughs> I'm trying to fix my broken one. Okay, I wanted to take the seat out of this thing and put the stock seat in, like I just said. Wait, babe, can you bring the car around? I literally just got that 180SX seat at Upgarage, so I'm dying to put it in. It's really hard to come by like nice ones, so it's got some weird underglow wiring that probably needs to be taken out. Not the coolest wheels and spec. It doesn't have the OEM Koki Type X tails, but all that can be fixed. So I'm gonna fix this thing, make it perfect condition, all OEM spec, and I will throw it up for sale. But follow up with me after this video is posted. I've got a little bit of work to do while I'm at the warehouse though. Take the seat out, put this OEM seat in, take all this stuff out. Time to jam. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Do we have the OEM stuff? We do. We have the OEM stuff just like my other 180. There's always a presence in the trunk. Dude, these things are not cheap. They're like 500 bucks. I'm so happy. He threw those in. We've got the OEM fog lights. What else do we got in here? Harnesses. What is that? Your number plate. Angle? Yeah. Sweet. I'll take that for the drift car. The first time I actually try and work on a car in here, babe, look how packed it is. I know. <laughs> it's the first time. Oh well. Time to get this seat out. Stock seat in. Let's go, baby. We went through it and had quite a bit of random stuff. Got some William hoses and these little things you put on your bumper to hold the bumper up. It goes right like on the fender. So you don't have bumper sag. L brackets for the license plate, gaskets. This was a, another center garnish, which is pretty cool. OEM tails, OEM exhaust. I don't know what this is. And a bunch of underglow controllers. <laughs> But yeah, it had the original privacy cover, which is pretty nice to have. Even the tabs aren't broken, so that's cool. I need a vacuum though, but for the most part, this thing is freaking clean. Seats are good. Dash isn't cracked, which is huge plus. They're always cracked on 180s. But yeah, time to get the seat switched out. Let's get both of the 180SX seats in there. The new little K-Van, K-Car Van, I don't know what they call this. I was able to fit quite a bit of stuff. I got some wheels in there, the seat, got my jack, a new snap-on toolbox. Ugh. I was ready to work on cars today, but it seems like I don't even do much. I'm so dumb. I got some new wheels, which I will open up and show you guys, but they're five lug and I forgot 180s are four lug. So stupid, but whatever. We'll keep them here at the warehouse. Let's get this seat out. The new seat. Let's go ahead and put two 180 seats in here real quick. Perfect. We got this thing cleaned out. Everything's looking solid. Kind of went through the car and cleaned it up a bit. Look at that. Dash is so minty. Everything's super clean. Rear seats are nice. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna be sold. I'm just happy it came with everything. Little things like that, love it. OEM tail lights, love it. These guys, love it. It's already getting dark here. Warehouse is packed, boys. Anyways, I still gotta throw on the tail lights and do other stuff, but I gotta get home. These mosquitoes are attacking me right now. We'll probably see you guys back in Nico's yard. It's been 
a while since I picked up the camera actually because I finally got caught up with all my videos. <clears throat> I've been kind of under the weather a little bit, but better today. And we finally brought the 180 home. I did get a couple goodies, but I just kind of wanted to go over what I've been up to. I get so confused on what I show on IG and YouTube, so I figured I can give a little update on what I've been doing the past month. One, the S15 is in the garage. I don't know why, but EK was the daily for a bit. S15 has been going to the drift track quite a bit now because Leah has been practicing. Maybe you guys can check out her video, but we've got some wheels, quite a bit of wheels. I just pick up whatever I find for deals. No use for these. I just buy them, same as these. I'm kind of hoarding at the moment. Got all the drift spares, some more wheels, GTR. Don't drive it that much. Just park it, good enough. <laughs> but the S15 is kind of looking good. I got all the tire marks after that Ibisu Matsuri and got her looking pretty good. I mean, obviously she still needs paint, but I was able to get new tail lights for this thing. I don't know if you guys remember me crashing and busted all this up, so that's new. I got the split red and clear tails, a little bit different from the other ones. These are the other ones right here. But yeah, everything lined up and came out good. I just got some freshy front tires for more track days with Leah. So we found a track like 45 minutes away from the house that uh, we go to. It's like 30 bucks for an hour or something. You rent the whole track. I gotta bring you guys with me. I will make a video there soon, but you'll probably see Leah's video I'll be making here shortly of her learning how to drift. So comment down below if you guys wanna see that. Anyways, let's get into what I just got in the mail that made me want to pick up the camera this morning. We got one OEM shift boot for the 180 from nissan i don't know if i want to put this one in or leave the one i have we'll see i just thought it was dope that it's oem brand new from nissan and we also got some goodies here we got oh yeah first we got the nismo key which i am so hyped about this thing is too cool i don't know if i want to make it for the s15 or the 180 but we also got this little guy the aluminum shifter sticker whatever you want to call it I don't know. I just thought it was cool and it was like two dollars. So that's that. And the last piece we got is this bad boy that I kind of want to throw on like right now because I actually have a legit RPS 13. I had painted this one and it didn't come out very good. So maybe I can just throw this on. Oh yeah, it looks good. I was going to wait for paint, but I'm still waiting on the kit to arrive. Don't really want to say what kind of kit it is. You guys just have to stay tuned and keep up with the videos to find out. But this thing is coming along so nice. I drove it, it drives perfect. It is a bit low, exhaust kind of drags on the ground, but it's not that bad. It's doable. Let's go ahead and put some of these pieces on. All right, let's go check out the 180. This thing cleaned up so nice. I don't know if you guys remember how it looked before in the first video I posted of it. Maybe I can throw in a little screenshot right here, kind of same angle. Tell me not. I didn't do much, but little things. Floor mats, shift boot, painted the center console, just gave it a good little detail, put new door cards in, cheap birdie. All right, I really wanna put that RPS 13 thing on. Let's go do that right now. There we go. Looks perfect. I can't wait to get this car fully painted. Oh, we are so close to finishing this thing. I'm not gonna do too many mods to this thing. It's pretty much done. I just wanna get the kit and paint. Interior's almost done. I'm gonna put my little shifter sticker right there. Let's do that. I don't know where to put this thing. Right there. Boom. Cool. Got this pretty sick Nismo sticker too. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not really a fan of stickers, but that looks pretty sick. <laughs> cool. Interior's looking good. I might change up the steering wheel. All right, we got the Nardi wheel in, and I don't know what I got myself into, but I did find this the other day at Up Garage, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to put it in this little port to have a USB thing. So, gonna install this. Almost done. We'll put it all back together. All right, 180 is dialed. We got a new USB charger there. Interior is looking flawless. 
All right, anyways, I did get a Prius. I bought this for Leah's mom as a gift for helping us with starting up our new business and everything. And she's just been wonderful. So she's parking it here for now until she finds a parking spot at her place. This thing, awesome. I need one for myself. EK update. Let's see, what have I done to the EK? Oh, I painted the tires. You guys probably saw on IG, maybe on YouTube. I don't know, I can't keep up anymore, but we did paint the tires. They already need to be repainted. <laughs> Oh well, it's been raining. This thing is filthy, but I was dailying this thing for the past month. So this thing is pretty beat looking right now, but awesome daily. Highly recommend you guys getting a Honda for daily. Anyways, there's a little update on my life for the past month. We've got some things to do. Let's check out some of the stuff we got in the trunk. Oh, we got a trunk full of stuff. I did bring back some of the parts that I want to throw on to the S15. Maybe we should go uh, get into that. What, what do you think, think, Momo? Should we put some parts on the S15? Yes. Okay, maybe we'll get to that right now. Well, if you guys saw my other video, I wasn't able to use these big rotors because the blitz were hitting and the R32 GTR caliper was too big. So nothing's going to waste. I got the GK Tech adapters and I'm hoping they will fit the GMRs. Why don't we go ahead and pull this thing off and start jamming. That took way longer than I thought it would take because we ran into a little bit of an issue. I had a stupid brake dust cover still on there and I don't have a big enough socket to take off the hub. So I went ahead and just cut it for now until I can take it off later, but it'll do. It's not hitting anything. We're solid. This looks good. Now, final test is see if the GMRs fit. Let's give it a test fit. Before we test fit, we got a black paint pen. We've got the metallic dollar paint job on the spacer to match my Nismo colored endless brake rotors. But I'm thinking of coloring in the Nissan black since they're already silver. Hmm, let's give it a shot. Up close, yeah, kind of bad, but with the wheel on, psh, freaking cherry. I honestly don't care, but it looks better. <laughs> you can see Nissan now. Let's go ahead and get these spacers on. Almost there. Now that's beautiful. Everything looks good. Clears, we've got big rotors. A lot bigger than these ones. Sick. We freaking did it, boys. I don't really work in my garage too often, so it's kind of cool to be able to do something, even though it's not a major job, just changing rotors, but it sucks working on cars by yourself. That's why I'm always at Nico's yard. But this week, I'm actually gonna be at Coda's. I gotta work on the 180, do a couple things, give you guys a little update on something I've had in the making. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get going on the other side. I don't know if I'm gonna film that. I'll probably just show you guys when I'm all done, but it's a mess. Now I gotta do the same thing. <laughs> on the other side. So it looks like I'm gonna finish up at Nico's. I just cleaned up. I'm gonna head out of here and also finally recharge the AC on this thing. I've been dying. Car does have AC and I'm hoping it just needs a recharge. So we're gonna do that. Install the other side. I hope it's safe to drive right now, but I wanna properly take off that dust guard. So off to Nico's we go. We pulled up to Nico's and I didn't show you guys, but before I left the house, I moved the car from the parking stall and there's like oil spots all over my floor. So I kind of want to lift it up and see why it's leaking so much. I have no clue. But yeah, the tail lights look good. What do you guys think? The car actually looks really good for going to Mud City for the weekend. Still got a source in your rear bumper, but it will do for now. It looks like we're just going to work on it right here on the flats because I can't move those cars right now. But we'll try and get as much done as we can. <laughs> Not too bad. We just found out the oil pan's leaking a little bit from the drain bolt, which is easy fix. New crush washer maybe. And the rear was leaking from the diff because I don't have a hose off the breather and it was just spitting diff fluid everywhere. Kind of cleaned it up. <sighs> Looks good. Should be solid for now. Still gotta get this rotor done on this side. I might do that. Nico has to go somewhere. I'm gonna continue to jam. Brought my tools with me, so we're on. Got 
this side on. Looks good. Now to recharge my AC. That's what I really came here for. Freaking doing this. Photo? What are you doing? How long have you been doing this? 50 minutes. No way. This is like two hours already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same for Josh. Because every time we need a nut or bolt, we have to go through this fat old Nissan diesel oil bin. Times three. Times three. three. Times four. Times five. I want to buy a map on control. Oh, true. You need that thing. Well, here's the AC stuff. Can you show me how to do this? It looks fancy. Is this a catalytic converter? It's the size of you. Oh, my Sylvia. <laughs> it's very Sylvia. Yeah. Why is this cat so big? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a truck's catalytic converter. Thing is massive. All right. You're right there, buddy. <laughs> Time to finish this. All right, see how this works. What is this? Tells you right there. HCF 134A, HCF 134, HFC. Can you read? All right. Time to do some freaking science. Just recharge though. Recharge, I didn't even take out the old stuff. And a, yeah, that, that's freaking annoying to do all that. Let's see. Oh, icy cold for the summertime. We're ready, boys. Thanks, Nico.